Hello and welcome back to Dishonored. Let's continue where we left off. Oh. Right here. That's such a bad way to start. I've moved the. Oh no, I've messed it all up. Oh god. That, that didn't go to plan. Oh. Woo, woo, just 
just say that, but it never happened. Right then, this time it's not hit anything. Stop. Get rid of the game. Right. Let's switch to. This has gone so well. It's like a series of hideous fails. I've made this a whole lot worse. I'm gonna keep on clicking off the game. Hmm? Samuel, I'm here. Yeah, I can tell. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Yeah, of course I'm ready to go. Okay, let's go. I don't want to get seen. Do I? <laughs> Right, let's see how badly I did. Uh, yeah. Well, at least I didn't hurt any civilians, I guess. Overall chaos, low. Well, I'll go with that. Let's continue on our way. That was so, so, so butchered. Right, any key you just have to continue. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I'll want to congratulate you. Yeah. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons. But I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all corrupt. 
My, there it. Can I be of service to you? Yes, I need more stuff. I suppose many sleep bolts. We can hold. Right. We could make more accuracy. You could zoom. Um. We could get that. I kind of want the zoom. That's 300. That's 300. Right, let's go with the crossbow one now. And we'll go to the mask one later. Right, I want low health. Oh. And we must find a girl. Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her mind. You did it! Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Last time I slept, I ended up in a different and new dimension and got given those pounds. So let's see what happens this time, if anything. Let's see. Is it in the way? Oh, it's not. Well, that was kind of bad. Treasonous speech and action. Oh, the state the depends on you. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night. Moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. A weeper? There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, mm. if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
some more powers in. What was I saving up for? Ooh. I think bend time would be very useful. Yeah, let's do that. That would be very useful for when I muck things up. the mission? I'm so confused. I've seen that there it is. Well, might as well grab it if we're down here. Is that still our mission? Oh. I think it's done. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer too. Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Okay, thanks. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. Mm. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Oh, yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Okay, so I've got to get... Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. It's best. I think I'm going to... I know the Golden Cat. Not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized well, 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 devices for them. I mean, I guess I'll end up kept here, blueprints. Possibly. It... Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with them to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted and quarantined for having the plague actually has the plague. Really? I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. What if I ever been in a situation which is not been dangerous? Anyway, I'll wrap it up here. Next time.